Those of you that live in Vegas know of this place. It's called Hans Military Surplus. Probably one of the biggest surplus places in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm probably not going to do video while I'm inside, but what we're going to do is I'm going to take all my stuff out when I get home, show you what I picked up. Talk to you then. Alright, I'm back. I got the bag in front of you there, the old stuff I purchased. I was going to do video inside the store, but it was busy, and I find when I'm shopping and I do video that I miss out on half the stuff I wanted to pick up. So anyway, I'm going to give you a quick view. Um, some of the stuff you're going to see in later uh, reviews, I'm probably going to show you. Um, but some of the stuff's neat, and I just wanted to show you what I got. And we'll go through, you know, the stuff and review it as time goes on. So, first off, I got this neat plastic bag. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, picked up a bandolier. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can actually see this stuff. I did a video on these a while back. I had them for like 75 cents. So I picked up a bandolier. I showed you how to pack your ammo into these for uh, 223 on stripper clips. So I figured uh, I could use another one. I'll, I'll uh, grab it. And I also got the spoon that comes with it. That's kind of the original speed loader. That's what uh, you attach onto this little clip here. Anyway, got that. Yeah, let's get the big stuff out of the way. Got a drop leg holster. I understand these are not the top of the line best drop leg holsters. And the reason I bought this it's because I wanted to try it out on my war belt. Uh, some, of these, uh, some of these drop leg holsters never seem to fit right. You know, they always felt like they were pulling your belt down. Or, But this one seems to be a pretty good deal. I believe this is Condor. Um, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. If I like it, I'll find something a little better. But uh, I want to try it out instead of having the, belt, the holster right on the belt. This way, this kind of drops off and goes onto your leg. And it doesn't go a mile down either, so you're not reaching all the way down for your handgun. So I picked that up. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Shooting gloves. These are incredibly comfortable. Fug <laughs> is the name. Um, I tried these on. I tried a bunch of them on. And I uh, wanted something a little heat resistant, a little abrasion resistant for shooting. And uh, these things are awesome. They are just so comfortable. I haven't even taken them off. They had a pair there to try on. Um, if you buy these, buy them in a smaller size than you expect. I tried the extra large because I had big hands, and uh, they were ridiculously huge on me. These are the mediums, and they're comfortable. So, And I think they were probably the most expensive thing I bought, 17 bucks. Anyway, super comfortable gloves. Um, we'll do a review on them after I try them out a little bit, and I'll get more info on them. I've never heard of the company. It doesn't say where it was made. E.G. Grenade Company. No idea. But we'll do a review on those once I find out more info on them. And I test them out a little bit. Now, this was an interesting purchase. And I purchased this specifically for the YouTube channel because it was just so unusual. Two-party camper's mountain stove. Climber's mountain stove. Now, you know, you think of a normal Lesbit stove. It's about, oh, you know, about that big. Then there's this thing. <laughs> I had to buy it. I know it was a silly purchase. I had to buy it. I want to try it out and see how it works. Um, if you look back at some of my older videos, I made a small Esbit stove into a wood-burning stove. I think with some of the metal here, I could definitely do that with this. But it is kind of neat. It's got a, ta a spot for each tablet. Um, I don't know that you'd put a small pot on this, you know, like a little canteen cup or something. This is definitely for something bigger, like a pot or a pan. So we're actually going to test this out with these and see if we can cook something on it. But this was just a cool purchase. I just saw it, and I've never seen a uh, little Esbit stove that was this size before. So, move that out of the way. Next up, of course, I never go into a first aid, a place that's meant for first aid stuff and not buy something. So I purchased a new cat tourniquet, and this is the real one. I checked to make sure. Make sure when you're buying these cat tourniquets, you are buying real cat tourniquets. So many fakes out there now, gun shows, even reputable dealers are selling them and they don't realize. So, picked up a new one. Picked up some of these Israeli bandages. I think these were four bucks each. Not bad. Um, I always need to replace the ones that I've either used up in training or lost or just keep extras. Got this little metal cup. Main reason, MRE reviews. I never have a cup 
to, you know, just keep out here and fill up with whatever I'm making and try out whatever I'm making. Um, it's kind of a neat cup, a little beat up. I'll have to clean it up a little bit. God only knows how that was intended to be. I'm also going to see what its uh, measurement is, if it's a, a cup, a half cup, quarter cup, whatever. Might be handy for measuring out stuff. But this was $4.99, small canteen cup. I'm not sure what country that's from, or if that's old United States surplus. Uh, but I thought it was kind of neat. And here is the spoon for the bandolier. All right, let's get further in here. Here's something I've been looking for for a while. My wife saw it on me the other day, and she's like, you're turning into an old man. I'm like, no, you don't get it. <laughs> Boonie hat. I've been looking for one of these for a while because everybody, every time I've taken a training course, they say, wear a baseball hat. Well, that's great. It keeps the sun off your face, but the back of your neck just burns, you know? So something like this, if I'm outside for extended periods of time, camping, shooting, whatever, kind of handy. Uh, it's a very soft, comfortable kind of mesh thing. I don't know that I'd use these for anything. Matter of fact, I may take them off. I'm not really sure. But uh, the hat itself is pretty comfortable. And it's interesting because I don't like hats. I'm not a hat person at all. And um, I put that on and it was like perfect. That's nice and comfortable. Now, no trip to this place is complete without a bunch of MRE stuff. And they have tons of it. It is literally, for those of you older guys that might remember record stores, where you go through and you pick through the albums. It's like that, but it's with MREs. <laughs> so, I picked up a bunch of different MREs. Some of these we may try. Some of these I may just, uh, you know, we'll do on the channel. Some of these I'll probably just pack away in different bags or whatever. Um, I believe these are repacks. They also sell tons of these entrees. They're kind of ones I haven't seen before. Um, pork sausage patty. That's probably going to be great with breakfast. Uh, this is a weird one. Beef steak, grilled, restructured, chopped, and formed. And this guy here, beef patty, grilled jalapeno pepper, or jack flavor. That might be one we try out. I'm not sure. There is one. I got a bunch of these cookies and pound cake. I like the pound cake. People hate it. I like it. Got a couple of these. Peanut butter. These are handy for, you know, if you have an everyday carry bag and you get stuck somewhere. Think about the people that got locked down in Vegas for eight, nine hours. And they had nothing to eat. And they were starving or hungry or whatever. Something like this. You can just rip it open and eat right from it. Handy to stick in your EDC. Now these you're definitely going to see on the channel. These are MREs that were packaged for the UAE, the United Arab Emirates. I assume they're halal or whatever. These are going to be interesting to try out. Um, I got two of the same because I want to keep one and I want to do one on the channel. Um, I've never seen this menu before. Caraway, couscous, chickpeas, and chicken entree, hummus, dates, nuts, crackers. It actually seems like it's a little bit of a healthier um, MRE, but we'll see what they taste like. I definitely wanted to try them out. They were only eight bucks. And oh, we got a couple more of these MREs and peanut butter sides. That's just chunk chicken and another cookie. And lastly, something that I can never find anywhere unless you order it online, and that's Croil. Those of you that have worked with uh, things that uh, don't want to come apart, rusted together, uh, stuff that's really, really tight fitted. Um, you can stick a little bit of this stuff in there, let it sit for a day, and chances are this stuff will creep into wherever is rusted and make it easy to tear apart. It's also a very good lubricant in general. So, I had to pick up a, uh, a little container of it. Anyway, that's the haul video from my uh, trip to Han Surplus. If you're in Vegas, you got to check this place out. I'm going to put the address in the uh, description box down below. They have so much stuff. And, I mean, they have expanded over the years. It used to be they had um, just basic military surplus and some new stuff. Now they have everything from used packs to... I mean, if you want to build a bug-out bag, you could literally build a bug-out bag there. No problem at all. Their prices are reasonable. Um, there were some things that were a little more expensive in other places, but... Um, you know, all in all, you're getting pretty good deals there, and most of it is real military surplus. Um, as you can see, you know, it's none of these knockoff things. They actually have the, uh, the military tag in there. It says, Made in the USA with the national serial number on it. Hat, sun, hot weather, type N, or M. Anyway, that's my trip there. Um, picked up this stuff there. 
you know, some of the stuff you're going to see in the channel for, in reviews, some of it I'm just going to pack away or put away or use. Um, definitely interested to see how these gloves work out. These are very, very comfortable gloves. So you'll see those on the channel. I, don't, I doubt I'm going to do any reviews on any of the medical stuff, mainly because I'm not a medical professional. I do have some basic first aid training, but I leave that to the people that actually know what they're doing and know how to teach it. So anyway, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. Um, this was my birthday trip this year because yesterday was my birthday. So I figured, you know, instead of doing something traditional and boring, I'd just go and have some fun and shop in the uh, surplus store. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.